In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop auto indentation in Visual Studio 2010. And auto indentation occurs when you write a program and notice, and now I'm going to press the enter key. Notice the cursor moves under the A and the system automatically indents one tab stop. But this tab stop, stop is actually spaces. So let me do that again. I'm going to press the enter key and now I'm going to put the open braces. Notice that the braces automatically indented under the I. Now I'm going to press the enter key and now I'm going to write printf. As I typed in the P, the system actually automatically put a tab stop before the printf. And now I'm going to hit the closing braces. Well, actually I have to return zero closing braces and I'm putting the braces right where the carrot is and the system automatically moves the closing braces to the beginning of the line. This is Microsoft's auto indentation and uh, I usually don't like auto indentation as my pattern changes based on the source code I'm working on. So to turn off this pattern, this auto indentation, I'm actually going to go to Tools, Options, and under text editor, under all languages, under tabs, we're going to select none for auto indentation. Once you set this pattern, this uh, auto indentation turned off, then uh, it's persistent across all projects. So I'm also going to select a tab size of 4. And in coding, when I'm doing Windows programming, I prefer to use tabs in my source code. And my indentation size is also going to be 4. So I'm going to select Keep Tabs under the Tab section. So it's again, indenting is none, tab size is 4, indent size is 4, and Keep Tabs. Now let me go back and rewrite the same code over again, starting underneath the main. That is, I'm going to press the Enter key, and it automatically moves to the beginning of the line. And now I'm going to hit the Tab key, and the closing braces, and Tab, and write Hello. and closing braces. Notice when you turn off auto indentation that you have to indent uh, yourself and that is good because as you are trying to develop uh, your skills as a programmer you want to learn a standard indentation pattern and you want to practice that indentation pattern. The extra benefits of having the system generate an indentation pattern for you is pretty marginal. 